What's up everyone, I am Toku Tyler, and today we will be taking a look at this fantastic item, the Complete Selection Modification O's Driver Complete Set. This is possibly the ultimate O's collectible, I think, because CSM, or Complete Selection Modification, does a fantastic job with these drivers and additional items and everything. So, me, as a very huge O's fan, had to get this. It's just really cool, and I'll explain more about how I feel about this completely uh, later on. But for now, it's here. Let's review it. This is awesome. So, as you can see, this box is quite heavy, so I'm just going to do, like, certain shots, and I'll stop and show it again. So, But as you can see on the front, here is O's in his Tataba form. So cool reaching out for the broken uh, Taka metal. Very, very, very cool shot. I love it. Got Bandai down in the corner. And of course, let me show you real close here. Complete selection modification, O's driver complete set. This has all the additional metals, everything that the complete set is supposed to come with. It's really, really cool. So now onto the back of the box. And here's the back of the box. We have a nice shot of Ankh's arm right here. Very, very cool, like sort of fading into the black. All the warnings and additional cautions and everything on the back. Very simple, but I like this. I like that as he's reaching out. I like that. So cool. And on the edges of the middle, it shows off every single metal that this set comes with. So cool. So we got the red metals, green metals, yellow. Uh, I guess you could say mammal metals since they're both... They're all technically different colors, and they got the blue ones. Puto Tira, the orange metals, the black metals over there. And we have Kangaroo on that side. Panda, Imagine, Shocker, Kamen Rider X, Kamen Rider Amazon, Kamen Rider Strong, the Super Tataba metals, and the black metals are now colored into their own combo. And one of the new combos there, very, very cool. And then, of course, the rest of the new uh, combos right there with more bugs. Arctic animals, very cool. The Poseidon metals, and of course, the Hermit Crab, which is a new one. Very cool. So, enough of the box. Let's get into the actual item. And really quick, I want to add something more about the box. When you remove the lid, you get a shot of Tajador, which is really, really cool. Comrade O's with his symbol in the back for Tajador. And after you remove that piece, let me see if I can do it. There is everything packaged up. The box of metals in there, the belt straps, uh, both, yeah, both uh, metal holders there, the scanner, and the little metal holder here belt piece everything it comes with right here very very cool i like it it's packaged so well so organized as well so let's get this stuff out and we'll go over it so here is every item you get in the box every everything that comes with the complete set you got the box of metals right back here uh comrade neptune i think that's his name Poseidon or Nept it's I think it's Poseidon. Sorry if I'm wrong. I don't really know much about this. I did see the movie, but I don't know much about that. But here is the actual driver pieces right here. The belt straps down here. The belt piece that holds it together in the back. We'll get to that once we assemble it. Here is the coin or metal holder right there. Sort of like the original one, but I think this is bigger. I think everything about these is like bigger. So it's really cool because this is for adult collectors and everything but there's that and the belt straps very very nice very different than uh what the dx one had these are very very much show accurate on the outside here like a bendable sort of plastic to it very cool and then of course you have the adjustable uh belt straps on the inside here very cool same sort of system as the dx one you push a button it has the release tabs and everything to connect the belt straps so but they look very cool, and they are very show accurate. They are cool. So there's that. Here is this uh, buckle, I call it. This is the other uh, buckle you get for the special metals. It is detachable from this base. This base is for this only. Uh, the driver has its own base that's colored and everything. 
But here it is. This does come with batteries, which is nice. And you just attach it like that. Very, very cool. So yeah, and of course we've seen the driver. Very cool, very much, I think this is bigger. I will compare it to the DX one that I have, but it's cool. You tilt it like that, very, very nice. Hold the button, there you go. Very, very cool. And of course this scanner, one of my, the very thing that makes the sounds, very, very cool. This does attach to the belt with uh, Velcro straps and it has the nice holder as a click. It's very cool, very shiny. And I love that they added the silver to this because you can still see the lights through this, but it's a very cool effect to have this like silver paint on the outside here. Very cool. Same system, you have a button down here and all that. Batteries do go in this compartment. You hit the little, little button in there and it comes right off. Very cool. And it does have these additional on and off sort of things. This is the on and off one right here. And this is for additional sounds, which is, we'll get to that in other videos too. And this is my favorite button, because this does really fun stuff. But again, we will get to that. This is going to be a long video. I hope to size it down in editing, but it's going to be fun. So, there are those pieces. Now for this thing, right here. All the metals contained in this box. Very cool. Plus, it has the design of the driver, very cool. And on the back it's just blank, but it's awesome. It really is. I like that effect, that design. Very cool. So let's open this guy up. So before we get to the metals, real quick, I want to show off something else you get when you open the box. This nice folder that says Kogami Foundation on it, which I found very, very cool. Let's see if we can zoom in on that symbol. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. I like it. It's just a simple black folder all around, but it's really cool. And when you open it up... You have some Japanese here, probably descriptions of the show and stuff like that. I can't read it, sadly. I would love to read it. But in the folder, you get these nice prints. Nice uh, paper thingies. Nice laminated sort of stuff. This is really cool. It's sort of like a diagram, like a family tree or something of the metals, the history of the metals, the the alchemy of it all. It's really, really cool. So you got, you know, the bird metals up here, cat metals here, bug, uh, sea creatures, uh, reptiles, or amphibians, I think, but reptiles, mammals there, more of them. They're all over the place, and I love it. It's so cool looking. And then, of course, my favorite down here is Puto Tira. Very, very cool. But it's like this cool sort of like tree diagram. It's really cool. So there's that. And then you get these informational uh, papers about the driver. As you can see, it's labeled with letters and descriptions of what it is and everything. It's cool. And I can't read it, like I said. So, But if you flip it around, because it has two sides, you get uh, descriptions of the combos. Very cool. Here is Tataba. There's the metals. And of course, again, it is labeled with letters and descriptions of what it's pointing at, but it's really cool. So we take that away. We have Gatsukiriba. I'm trying to keep these all in order. Uh, there he is, very cool. Flip that around. We have Ratorata, very cool. One of my favorite forms in the show is, is just so cool. I love big cats. So there's that. And then of course we have Sagozo, another cool form. Let's just be honest and say all of Oz's forms are cool. So there he is. Very cool looking. Flip that over. And we get Tajador. Very cool. And here is Shouta. Another awesome form. Very, very cool in the show. And then, of course, my favorite, Putotira. Very cool looking. Let's look at that for a little bit. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. And, of course... The movie exclusive, Burakawani. I like this one. I, I didn't know how to feel about it as a movie form, but when I saw it, it was it was definitely really cool. So there's those. Uh, oh, yeah, Super Tataba. There's Super Tataba. Very cool. Was there anything on the back for him? There is. Rider Damashi. Very cool. 
or is it Tamashi? Yeah, Tamashi combo. Very cool. And like I said, Super Tataba. Flip that around and we get into the new combos. I don't know the name of this one. I'm sorry, but it's cool. It uses the shrimp, crab, and uh, scorpion metals that were originally black metals for Kamen Rider Core, but that's awesome. Um, flip that around. Here is my favorite of the new forms because it's like these horned mammals. Got a deer, a gazelle, and a cow, but it's just, it's so cool and I love the legs. That's really awesome. Focus in on that image. And it has a really cool jingle uh, in the driver too, so it's awesome. And here is the other bug combo. Definitely a cool one. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's it's cool. Uses centipede, uh, wasp, and ant. It's very cool. I like it. And the arctic animals one. Very awesome. Using a walrus, polar bear, and penguin. Very cool. I think this one is my favorite jingle in the driver of the new ones. It's cool. Flip that around. Then you have this guy who is based on Poseidon or Neptune. I think it's Poseidon. But these are using his metals to make this combo. Very, very cool. Shark, whale, and wolffish. I think is what it translates to. Wolffish. So, very cool. And then using some of these other rare metals like kangaroo, you have Taka, kangaroo, and Bata giving him these cool sort of like punching arms. And flip it around. If you use kangaroo as legs, you get these nice kicking legs that look kind of like sneakers. I like that, but it's cool. There's that. And of course the other cool metal, Panda, gives him a sort of repainted of Tora, gives him claws, but it's cool. I like it, and Panda is one of my favorite metals. It's awesome. And then the other new metal, the Hermit Crab, I think is what it's called. It gives them like these shell drill arms. It's so cool. I like seeing these images. It's very cool. So there's that. And there's Kamen Rider Poseidon, I think is what it's called. Him with his actual buckle, looking very cool. Flip that around. Using the black metals, here is Kamen Rider Core. Very cool. And we're back to Ratorata and these guys. So these prints are actually really cool. And they give you a good sort of picture of these combos. Even the ones that didn't premiere in the show or anything like that. It's, it's really cool that they give you something extra like this. I love CSM. They're doing a really good job with this stuff. So that's that. Very cool. Now on to the metals themselves. This is... This is a cool box. I know I already said that, but I just, I like it that they're all contained in this thing. Very cool. So if we open the side here, put it on the bottom there, they come in these little trays, which are really cool. So I'll pull each tray out, show each metal. So here we have the red metals. See if we can focus on them a bit. There is Taka, Kujaku, Condor, a cracked Taka, and then the two halves of the broken Taka metal, which I think is a cool addition to it. It's it's cool that this comes with these. It's so awesome. Obviously, there's no microchip in them, so they can't really be read by the scanner, but they're cool. This one can, and this one actually starts a different uh, transformation uh, sounds for the driver, which is really cool. So there's that. Now the next one, we have the Gatakiriba medals with Kuagata, Kamakiri, and Bata, Lion, Tora, Cheetah, Sai, Gorilla, and Zo, or Elephant. They're really cool. I like it. And they're the way they fixed it is they still made them look shiny, but you can't see... The chip inside them which I very much appreciate because when I would look at the DX Tora metal you would see this big green square right in the middle of his face but this this looks really elegant really cool I love these ones they just look extra good it's so nice I don't know if my lighting's doing it justice it's just they look so good so there are those ones next tray there's about four more trays I think yeah <laughs> 
Next one is the Shouta medals with Shach, I think it's called. Unagi, Taco. And of course the Puta Tira medals. Terra, Tricera, and Tirano. Or Tyrano, sorry. Um, Burakawani medals, there they are. Very, very nice. Cobra, Kani, and I think Wani. Yeah, they're cool. I like them. Very shiny. They look so good. They really do. Good job, CSM. Here are the black medals. Sasori, uh, the crab one, and the shrimp one, I think. And, of course, Super Tataba, where they're nice and golden, with a colored background. Very cool. Then the Kamen Rider medals. Kamen Rider X, Kamen Rider Amazon, and Kamen Rider Strong. Very cool. I love these interesting medals. They're just... They're very new. They're very cool. And here we have Imagine, Shocker, which is a really cool medal, and Tora with a silver uh, side to it, because I think these are, they're not actual core medals from, they're like from a movie special, I think. I don't know everything about O's, but I'm trying my best here, so. But they're really cool. They do make a different sound in the scanner. It's, it's cool. I like them. And of course, the second to last panel with the new combos. The black medals are now all colored and nice. Look at that. Very cool. You got uh, Deer, Gazelle, and I think Oshi. I think that's what he's called. The Centipede, Bee, and Ant, which is a really interesting one. I like that. And of course, the last one. Let's pull this out. The Arctic uh, animals with the walrus polar bear, and penguin. Very cool. Shark, whale, uh, wolffish, kangaroo, panda, and hermit crab. Very cool. I love these medals. These medals are so cool. So yeah, that is all the medals it comes with. So now we will continue by scanning some medals. Now, in order to scan the medals, we must first... Well, you don't have to, but... I'm going to assemble the belt because it's really fun and I just want to show how this goes about it and everything. So here we go. We take, well, let's put these items off to the side here. Move those. We take the belt straps. Very nice. And I believe this is this side. Yeah. Okay. Nice and locked in. Very good. And we take the other one. And do the same thing. Very cool. Now we take these two end pieces here and attach them sort of like a seat belt. Now they're all locked in. Very cool. It's kind of like stretch the belt there. Then we take this piece right here, pull the velcro off, attach it right here like so. I believe that's how it goes. Yeah. So now you have this back piece here. It looks better when you construct it properly, I think, but it looks good. Okay. And of course... Oh, wait. How does this go on? Sorry. I, like I said, this is not a professional review at all. I'm such a doofus. Okay. Um, oh, I see. You take that off, you slide it off, and it just goes on like this. And you lock it in. There we go. So there's that piece. Oop. Sorry, this thing's all over the place. Okay, and then I assume... Oh yeah, this has Velcro. And you just attach this to the side like so. Probably move them forward a bit. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. And here it is. Sorry about that. I This is my first CSM driver, so I'm a bit excited, but also nervous at the same time. But here it is, all assembled and looking great. It's so cool. And to finish, finish it off, there we go. Have it all tilted and nice. There we go. Very, very cool. I like it. Um, it's definitely something that would fit 
because the the belt straps on the inside are adjustable it's really really good really well done especially for adult collectors like me you know you need something that actually fits and is very show accurate like i said with the belt straps very good so there's that and we are now going to uh, go over the scanner real quick let me push that to the side here it is off of its uh, holder on the side there but as i said this thing is really cool with the silver paint on the front very very nice it takes three triple a's i believe yeah three triple a's in this compartment it's it's really good though i like it it's the same size here's the the dx one for comparison same exact size and everything but just done in a higher sort of uh fashion but it's cool i like it and i love my dx one don't get me wrong but this is just something nice and i don't know sophisticated looking i like it so very very cool so now we turn it on and we get this. You remember it's the one closest to this piece. So turn that one. Turn it on. So I'm trying to, there we go. So you can see the lights through it. It's really cool and that still lights up as well. Very cool. And same place where the speaker is on the DX one. So very cool. And if you push the button on the inside, It goes through all the colors and the cycle and everything. It's awesome. It does does everything the DX1 does and more. So it's really cool. Um, I don't really know what to do next. Sorry, I almost forgot to edit this in. Um, I'll get back to the actual video, but there is some additional things you can do with this. As you can see, there is a button down here, and I'll get to this button in other videos too, but... There's a button down here that does something really special. It plays a total of four different songs from the show. It's like his transformation music, like building up, waiting for him to transform. It's so cool. And then the next one, I think, is the same thing, but it's more like... It's a more dramatic one. And it'll just play that. And the cool thing is, while that's playing, you can still scan metals, and it'll play those songs too while the music is still playing. It's so cool. It's just a little additional thing. So the next song is one of my favorites. It plays Time Judges All, the Tajador uh, transformation song, or, well, it's a song for Tajador, which is so cool. And then, of course, my absolute favorite, the final song it plays, is the actual full theme song of O's. That is so awesome. I've been playing that all day. It's so cool. And then, of course, it cycles back to the first one. But that's so cool that they have the actual theme song in this thing. It's so, ah, it's so unbelievable. I love it so much. So, yeah, I just thought I'd 
throw this into the video real quick in editing just to show you that this does some really fantastic stuff. It's not just for scanning. It does really cool things and there's plenty more to come in other videos. So back to the review. Oh, of course I know what to do next. Now we are going to put the metals inside the driver. We're going to scan them and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be so much fun. But first, before I do that, I just want to compare the metals real quick. Here is the DX one and here's the CSM one if we can zoom in. There we go. Look at that. It's it's a lot more clearer, a lot more colorful. It's very cool. And I do love my DX ones. They're just I don't know. You can obviously see the chip in there whereas this one you can't really see it, but it's it's still cool. I love how they did that. That was a major issue I had with them, but and to continue with that topic, here's Tora focus on those you can see the chip right inside of the DX one and here's the CSM one looking nice and shiny look at that this is really cool so I'm glad they fixed that because it was an issue but it's a small issue they still look good though as for Bata um, it's not that much of a problem because the chip is green and the coin is green so but it's a lot more clearer a lot more like I said a lot more colorful the color really pops on these and it's very nice. I'll just show the back real quick. Again, just solid, like sort of crystal look to them. They're not really that see-through, but they still look really good. So it's very cool. Still got the golden edge there and they got a bit of weight to them, which is very nice. So very cool. Now on to the scanning. Here we go. Oh, gotta turn on. Very cool. It's a lot more clearer, a lot louder for sure, but it's it's really cool and it makes that that uh, coin sound a lot louder and a lot more crisp. I love it. It's so good. Now for the scanning charge. That's so awesome. You get this longer, a lot more uh, devastating finisher, which is so cool. And then you get the coins falling down on the ground, like in the show. It's such a cool effect to it, and I love that they added that. It's so nice. It's so cool. Okay, so we've done Tatoba. Now, for uh, the Tajador combo, just to show off a combo. So we take Taka. Kujaku and Condor and we'll scan these ones. It plays the Tajador jingle very well. Again, it's a lot louder, a lot more focused. I love it. It's so cool. And now for the scanning charge for Tajador. That's awesome. You get this like soaring through the air sound and then the finisher explosion and then the coins again. It's so awesome. I love it. Oh man, I'm so happy to be an O's fan. This thing is fantastic. And last but not least, I'm going to show off the Poseidon buckle really quick. So to do that, you basically put the scanner back in there if you want. Put this back up straight. Take the belt straps off by pressing the buttons. Okay, and as I said, it does have its own back to it, so just do the same thing. Put the straps back on, and there you go, Poseidon belt. 
I think you can take the other side things off, but if you want. But here it is. There's the side buckle. And to show that off, we will take the three metals that you use in it. And here we go. Just pop them in real nice. And after the third one, we get this. It calls out the names of each of the three metals and has a splash noise at the end, which is very nice. I don't know if it has a finisher with the scanner or anything, but that's all I have for it now. And then when you take out the metal, makes the splash noise and the coins uh, falling off or changing him and everything, which is really cool. And the way it works is there's these little buttons inside here where the coins press down when they're placed in so it doesn't really like scan anything so you could put you know shark whale and panda for example and it'll still do it so yeah that's how it works and stuff and So yeah, that's pretty much how this belt buckle works. If it has a finisher, I'm not aware of it. I'll try to look it up and everything, and I'll show that off in the uh, combo video that I plan on doing. So really cool, though. I like that this is another additional piece to it. So yeah, if you can't tell already, I love this thing so, so, so much. I, I love everything about it. I love how great the metals look, how great the driver itself looks. It sounds better looks better just and everything it comes with the folder and the images of all the forms so cool the poseidon buckler the box the metals come in all the extra metals just and the new combos are so cool and i'm sorry if i i'm sorry i didn't show them in this video i will do more parts to this review this is just part one okay i promise i will do all the combos all the new ones show off all the metals and what they do and everything it's just going to be so much fun it's going to go on for a while and it's going to be great so thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that bell to be notified of future videos and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye Thank you.